Hey guys, so um, today we are going to work on uh, fry bread. Uh, it's a Native American dish. Um, you often see it with beans and a protein, um, some sauce, onions, tomato, etc. cetera. Um, you'd see it called Indian uh, or Native American fry bread tacos, which is kind of what we're gonna make today. So uh, first thing we're gonna do is get going on the bread itself. Um, while that is happening, I have simmered, let me show you, black beans, and I am also boiling some chicken breasts. Now, I'm, I'm gonna cook the chicken that way and I'm gonna shred it so it stays moist. Then I'm gonna cook it again uh, right before we serve in a red chili sauce. So, um, we're not just boiling chicken, we're gonna do more to it, I promise. Um, but let's get going on the fry bread. We have one cup all-purpose flour. We have one and a half teaspoons baking powder. We have a fourth of a teaspoon salt. And then we have a half a cup whole milk. Okay, so just mix all your dry ingredients in here. Give that a quick stir. And then you just add your milk. And then we're gonna bring this together using our hands. And then now I'm bringing it out onto the countertop so that I can work it together, okay? Once it kind of formed a ball. And then now we're gonna knead this a few times to make sure it comes together. It's a little tacky. Uh, sticky, but that's okay. Um, it's gonna come together. It's gonna make a good fry bread. Now, if you've kneaded it a few times and it's still like too wet to work, go ahead and sprinkle a little flour. But remember, we don't wanna go crazy because then the finished product will be too dry. All right, we talked about that with the pizza dough. Okay. So, it's a little tacky, but it's not sticking super bad. So I'm gonna leave it alone because I'm gonna add a little flour before I roll this out, okay? So right now, I'm just gonna form it into a ball here, and I'm gonna leave it alone. Hey, grab my rolling pin. Uh, this is a French rolling pin, which just means the sides uh, here taper, uh, which just makes it easier to roll, I think. Um, certainly nothing wrong with a regular rolling pin. All right, pushing it down, and then we're gonna roll this out. So I'm gonna do quarter turns every time. That just helps keep it round. Okay, so at this point, it's pretty thin. If you can see that, um, but that's about what you're looking for. Okay, and then we're gonna get our oil heated up, all right? Okay, guys, so I'm just gonna divide this into four pretty even pieces, okay? And then this gets moved over. I've got some shortening in a pan that we are gonna fry these in. All right, now, I'm just kind of opening this up, get it to look more like a rectangle, and I'm just doing that with my fingers, okay? And then in she goes. All right, see that sizzle? That's a good sign. That's what you want to see. Don't put your face down by the hot oil. Lesson learned. And we're going to let this go um, for a few minutes on each side. And then we'll obviously flip it. All right. Okay. 
A bubble is not bad. We're, we're not mad at a bubble. You're just gonna check it, all right? We want it golden brown on that side. When it's golden brown on that side, we flip it and then get it golden brown on this side. You can use vegetable oil, olive oil, um, I again, shortening. If you have lard, I absolutely would use lard. I am out of lard or that's what I would use also. And now I am on high heat, so this does go quickly. And I'm gonna have a towel to put these on, okay? To help kind of soak up that extra uh, oil that's gonna come off. Look at that, beautiful. Get it golden brown and delicious, and I'm gonna get it out, and then I'm gonna do it three more times, but I'm not gonna make you watch that. So, we have a red chili sauce, and I just, I'm gonna add that into the hot skillet. Get all the goodies in there. Get my chicken. See that chicken soaks that sauce right up. Nice and hot, ready to go. And then that should come off. Beans are going. We're about ready to assemble dinner, guys. Now this red sauce was dried chilies, garlic, onion, uh, all cooked and boiled in water and then put in a blender and blended. And after it was really smooth, I added in some butter while it was still hot. Um, the French call that mont au beu, which means to mount with butter. And what it does is it gives your sauce a really velvety texture, um, and it also thickens it. Uh, this, it's like a homemade enchilada sauce. Uh, it's going to be really good on these, uh, tacos. Okay. So fry bread. I'm going to actually go cheese first. Then the chicken. I like a little tomato. And then your beans. And so guys, we slow cook these beans um, for a couple hours today and season them with cumin, garlic, uh, and cayenne. And now we're gonna finish this off with a cream sauce. So like a sour cream. Uh, if you were so inclined, you could do ranch. Uh, I have a roasted garlic sauce, which I'm gonna go put on this, and I'll see you at the table. Okay, guys. We've got our fry bread, a nice crispy fry bread, the chicken, the beans, uh, fresh tomato to add a little freshness to the dish. Also a squeeze of lime or uh, fresh cilantro chopped up on top would be really good. I don't have those ingredients and I couldn't get them, sadly. Um, but as far as a homemade dinner goes, guys, this is a really easy one to make at home because um, a lot of it can be done ahead. Um, but it's delicious and worth doing. Y'all, it's so crazy to me that this fry bread is that good. It's like four ingredients, not much work, but man, it packs the, it packs the flavor in. It's really good. Um, you guys try it. Try it this weekend. Try it tonight. Try it tomorrow night. Try it a bunch. I bet we could come up with some cool things to do with breakfast with these two, right? Like fry them and then cinnamon and sugar to make like homemade donuts. Um, some bacon and eggs on this, like, you know, up, endless options. Anyway, see you guys next time.